This video does not contain any swearing and is not suitable for anybody who is looking for videos with swearing in them. <laughs> Alright YouTube, it's me, David Harry, your favourite vlogger and YouTuber. Um, right, I'm going to have to keep this a little subdued because it's getting on a little bit late, but I've just got to do this video right. Um, <clears throat> what it is, yesterday when I uploaded that video, that GoPro one, um, something really quite mad has happened. <laughs> and um, I don't know if this is indicative of the type of people who watch YouTube content, but uh, I got um, immediately, it looks like I've gotten seven subscribers because of that video. And there was a number of comments and I actually received some direct messaging as well to do with the swearing, as in like very approving comments and stuff like that. Anyway, what I want to do with this video, which I won't drag out and be an epic thing, I just want to say thank you. Uh, very much to those people who subbed uh, to the channel because of that. But I've also got to make it really clear as well that um, I don't swear in all my videos, okay? Uh, I just want to be clear about that because I don't want people thinking, hey, look at it, we, you know, we found this little nut job on YouTube here who's dead funny or whatever it is you think I am. Hopefully I am funny. But uh, yeah, I just want to be dead clear. I don't want to mislead anyone. That's not what I do in all my videos. Um, and unfortunately, you know, I I've got to rethink the whole swearing thing as well. I've actually just done an update video for the channel as well, where I've kind of like, what it was, I went out testing some stuff. Um, and during the test, I, I used the test as a way of um, doing an update video. And in that video, I also go on um, about the swearing thing and how... How unfortunately it could be impacting me in other ways on YouTube. So yeah, uh, that, that the whole swearing thing, I'm going to readdress it again at some point. However, the irony, like I say, and this thank you video, as it were, um, is because I did, I did a video which obviously anyone who knows me, right, who, who's known me, say, from my other channel, where I did do just only done like you know camera and mic stuff for years and then I did this so I could move me stuff away and get a bit more back to myself with things anyone who's used to what I do knows I'm a bit of a mad f anyway and uh, you know every now and then I will do the things and those are coffee with David things I totally enjoy doing them um now although it would appear <laughs> <laughs> that the uptake for that type of video was a bit more than what I thought it would have been, um, which I, I have found to be quite surprising. Unfortunately, I think what it is, the the um, the outlets on YouTube for such language within certain types of videos is few and far between because most YouTubers, once they become monetized and whatnot, they do have to like be a bit more careful because you definitely would get demonetized for that type of content. Um, I mean, let's put it this way. If my main channel like started like making me like, you know, proper money, like, you know, serious living money and stuff. And if YouTube were never going to like penalize me or get bent out of shape with the swear, and I wouldn't mind doing that more often on this channel and especially those coffee with David things. But I also want to make it clear to anybody who did subscribe, if you have even watched this video, um, my brutal honesty is what I do on this channel. That won't change, you know what I mean? Um, I've actually not lost. I've actually, I've, it's something that I can't really go into in this video, but I've actually told certain manufacturers near enough to F off um, because uh, my, my view of them had changed with the way that they kind of... Uh, how can I say this? Because everyone's going to under... Well, there's going to be people there who will understand exactly who the manufacturer is that I'm talking about. Uh, dare I say, I recently had an issue with a particular microphone. And my conversations with this manufacturer, who to this point I've had great relations with, um, they went a bit weird because I was speaking to other people via email with this company that I've never spoken to before. And it almost felt like as if I was almost expected to drink the Kool-Aid or something. Anyway, I concluded this bout of emails with a soft F off, as in I didn't say F off, but I concluded it with don't send me any more of your microphones because, yeah, I don't require your assistance anymore. Thank you. Um, it was obvious what I was saying in the emails and stuff like that. 
the point that I'm getting at is, sorry, I don't want to go too deep with that because I was going to start really effing and blinding. The point that I'm making with that is, I just want people to know that that honesty that I do, like, you know, when I'm ranting and swearing, I do the swearing thing because obviously that is me. I swear in real life, do you know what I mean? But the honesty that I show there is the same honesty I do anyway on this channel. And my honesty extends to cutting ties with companies because I I disagree with their approach to certain products or their their approach to what they perceive reviewers maybe should be like. Now, I'm not saying that this company were telling me to do anything. They most certainly weren't. However, there seemed to be a... There seemed to be a strong undertone um, which was suggesting to me that I just should shut up and drink the Kool-Aid. That's what it felt like, at which point I'm like, nah, F you, I'm not having that. Um, so basically, yeah, the, the, the swearing aside and all that stuff, for anybody who might have like sub recently and whatnot, um, <clears throat> I am always dead honest. And to, to the degree, anyway, this long boring story that I'm getting into, which I said I wasn't going to do, yeah, um, my honesty and integrity stretches to... Um, cutting ties with manufacturers if I feel in any way that I'm expected to compromise myself and stuff like that, you know. So, yeah, this, I just want to... Imp- basically, what I'm trying to do here is just to impress upon people who don't know me, who've never seen me stuff earlier, like a few years back up to now. Um, I am I am a certain type of person, and that will not change about me. <laughs> um, I just want to let people know I'm dead honest with what I do, and nobody's going to bully me into doing anything other than what I do, except for possibly YouTube. So this is what I'm saying about the swearing thing. It might be something that I might have to address. I don't know. But I just don't want anybody to feel like they've been misled. So they, they, they come in one day, they log in, they find this video where I'm having a go at, like, you know, idiots on YouTube, like, reviews, reviewing people and all that BS stuff and whatnot that I said the other day. I I don't want people to think that like, yeah, you know, he was funny because he really got dead brutal about that or he was dead honest and uh, and he was swearing. I'll do the honesty and brutality, okay? But it's the swearing thing. I can't do it in every video because also... I've already had some of my videos come under scrutiny as well with YouTube and they actually flag some as being over 18 without me actually saying I wanted them as over 18. So it can work against me and stuff like that. Anyways, yeah, I think that's probably about it. And if anyone's wondering, this is a Sennheiser ME64. It is plugged directly into my camcorder. Um, <clears throat> what it is, I'm just trying this position here. I think maybe a couple of people might have seen that video I done where I said about hiding the mic in the shot. Unfortunately, Fortunately, like a complete tool, I've put the mic in the wrong place here. I can't mask this out. In fact, let me just see if I can do something here. What it is, I don't have a straight mask line here, I don't think. I think something's going to get in the shot. However, let me just see if I can do a manual garbage mat or something. So let me see if I manage to get that mic out of the shot. What it is, as anyone know, I'm doing it and I'm just rabbiting on like a tool. As anyone knows, when I do certain things in certain videos, they do end up becoming like things where I'll rabbit and stuff. But in the process, I do try to like, you know, test as many things as I can or try and give as much hopeful, use, hopefully useful information as I can and stuff like that. And sometimes I screw up with, like, the way my dialogue goes because, you know, there's certain things I don't want to retake because I'll lose the effect of what I was saying and things like that. So that's the reason why some of my videos go a bit mad long and all the rest of it. Um, and then, obviously, like, right now, this video was meant to be a two-minute video. I don't even know where the effing hell this has got up to. Um, but, like I say, right now, I'm testing this thing again. And the reason why is because uh, I'm considering using this microphone in this position if it's good. Only problem with this mic, I have to be really careful and not talk into it because it pluses like a mf Um So I've got to be dead careful with that. Also, as far as the swearing thing is concerned, let me round this up. Um, I don't know, maybe maybe do some bleepy stuff. Uh, I, what it is, I used to do videos where it was bleeps and I used to put like a test card over my mouth with the bleeps and stuff. It, depending upon the context, that can actually be funnier and stuff like that. Unfortunately, and I know this is going to sound like a bit of a fob off, but those things actually do take surprisingly quite a long time to edit, especially when you F as much as I do in some of the videos. Most of the time is sitting there, like, you know, bleeping and masking stuff and things like that. But like I say, I find those things to be like, you know, quite funny. A bit funnier sometimes than the swearing. Um, and on yeah, and on the point of the swearing thing as well, I think I think the reason why 
you know, it, it might work for some people when they watch my videos where I do swear. It's quite obvious that I'm not doing it for effect. Do you know what I mean? I, what I can't stand is when you see some people trying to be funny and they throw swear words in and you sit there and you go, you're just really uncomfortable with that, aren't you? Because you don't talk like that normally. You know, you're trying to be cool or whatnot or trying to go for effect. That's not me. That is what I do. And I think maybe that might have been what was getting picked up in that video. People might have people might have been going, this guy's a genuine swearer. He knows how to swear. He must do this all the time. I bet you he talks to his mother like that. I probably do. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, I'll round this up now because I'm just going to wrap it on like a complete effing tool. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, so so to those like like seven people who subbed, yeah, thank you very much. Um, but I don't want to be, I don't, I don't need to be disappointed thinking that it's just going to be one effing s show all the way through and things like that. It won't be. Uh, but if if what you caught in that video was like the brutal honesty and stuff, that's definitely in my videos all the time. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to shut up. I've got a video to edit. <laughs> and David. Harry, thank you very much for watching. Oh, yeah, let me know how this sounded. Uh, let me know if it worked. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.